Hi everyone. Uh, today in this video, I'll show you how to insert one record of a table into another table. And uh, this can be used as uh, creating a historical data. So what you will learn in uh, this presentation or in this video, insert record from one table into another. But what we will doing using SQL insert query to insert one record of a table into another table using VBA code uh, not the append query VBA code write code without using append query so I have one example I'll show it to you uh, let's suppose we have this simple table purchase table now I'll show you the uh, the structure of this table okay let me close this one say yes tbl purchase okay so we have serial number purchase date item id quantity and archive yes or no <clears throat> i'll explain to you why i have kept it as car archive uh, this archive field and then we have uh, another table table purchase history and now here you will see all these fields are same uh, up to this field these fields are same as we have defined in the TBL purchase or table purchase. Last field is archive update. This will be used when the record is being updated or being archived. A history number. Okay. We have table item. Just show it to you. Okay. We have these items paint bucket, paint brush, sandpaper, whatever. And of course, we have relationship in between the uh, table item and table purchase. This is our form FRM purchase. Okay, so let's run this form. Okay, now here you can see this is some of the records are there. Okay, this is a purchase date. Uh, this is the item selection, of course, is from combo box and the quantity. Now let's say in any in any scenario where you have hundreds of records, uh, this is a continuous form. So if you have hundred records, definitely these all records will be appearing on this screen. But what you want actually that this form should only show us the current records. Let's say last month records <clears throat> we need to archive or we don't want to show on this form. So what's our purpose of this uh, creating a separate table TVL purchase history? Because let's suppose if you have 1000 records in this table purchase. So 1000 lines definitely will be appearing on this form. Of course, you can have different multiple filters also to select the read by to filter the records by date range. But the thing is this: that let's say in in a scenario where you don't need the records of last month to to be shown on this screen, and definitely uh, even if if uh, you put the filter, but the thing is that when the once the form is loading, so of course this table is having one thousand records or let's say fifty thousand records. So to avoid that and to put the, uh, uh, to reduce the memory consumption, what we will do that last month record should be historical records or whatever. So we have this archive button here. What we have done here, let's go to the code now, design view, click on this one, go to the event procedure. Okay. So here I'll explain to you what we have done. Now let's suppose, okay, just for your uh, easiness, what we will do, I will just remove this, okay. Now on the purchase uh, purchase table, we have serial number field, okay. So what we will do, then SR number variable as integer. This I will explain to you why I am doing this, okay. SR number variable equals to me dot txt or uh, the control name is me dot uh, sr number dot value because it's a text box so I can put dot value now the value will be stored in srn number variable what we need to do actually that uh, we need to 
as soon as we click this archive button that record should be uh, inserted into tbl underscore purchase underscore history but here we will have some filters let's say if because the date is there the item number is there or item name so what we will do if is null me dot txt p date which is showing purchase date or is null me dot cmb item id then so this means that if the purchase date is null or item is not mentioned if the item is null then what you should do archive dot value equals to zero it should be value message box Any message you can put you can specify also uh, some of the fields are missing data or let's say purchase date or yeah, item name is missing So if the purchase date is missing or item name is missing, the message will appear. This record cannot be archived. Okay. Else, if it is not like this, then do cmd dot run sql. Okay. Now what you can do, even uh, you can define SQL separately also SQL query or here also you can define. Okay. Insert into So this is a syntax of insert statement insert into the target table tbl purchase history srn number srn o p date item id archive archive date Okay. Let it be like this. Okay. Then now this is the time to select the table. Let's select the record. Select TBL purchase dot okay purchase spelling. I will just copy this table name dot p date dot item id which is dot archive the value of archive field okay now here what I will do I will use date function as well, let's see expression one okay from TPL purchase where purchase dot sr number so which record should be uh, going into the table history from table purchase equals to sr variable okay and 
so now what will happen that first we have stored uh, that particular record serial number into this variable then we have put the condition new dot kind dot value that means if it is null because one what will happen once you will click on the selection box so it will be selected first but if it is selected so next time it will show this this record is being archived but if this condition because purchase date is null or item id is null then it should not update the record it should not insert the current record into historical record so what we have done here okay so me dot archive dot value again back to zero because once you will click the value becomes minus one so we need to uh, deselect again show the box as deselected because the record is not being updated so that's why we have put value zero message will appear else what should happen insert into table purchase history serial number p date item now remember that this is sequence should follow the same sequence which you have selected because the data type should also remain the same <laughs> otherwise you will get there and lastly is date current date on which it is being updated okay so let's save this one okay now we'll close okay and now we'll run this form save the form okay now here you can see okay it's being updated on oh, table purchase history sorry for the this I have put wrong spelling yes here purchase what's happening yes purchase history okay this is something purchase okay yes Purchase history here. I have forgotten this underscore sign. Okay, so let's go to the table again. Oh, sorry, uh, go to okay, here. Okay, so let's end this one. Show it again. Okay, now I will click on this one archive. Okay. So it says you are about to append one record now what i'll show you okay i will just click no I will end. currently purchase history is having no record okay in this one i have this one put as auto number and the serial number from the uh, the parent table item id quantity archive archive date nothing is there i'll close this table and now i will append yes okay now I will show you table history purchase. Yes, the record is there. Okay. One more thing which we have seen here: quantity is becoming uh, null. So I'll just check the code. Okay. Now in this one, here you can see the date is null. As soon as I would click this, this record cannot be archived as purchase date or item name is missing. Press OK, and again it's back to blank. Now if I put the date, that that's the date, append, yes. So now you can see two records are being updated. Next thing what you can do, that this record should not appear here. So there are two scenarios, either uh, in the record source you can select that where archive is uh, zero, show only those records. Or the second option is, is to delete this record so either you can delete this record you can even you can delete this record also from uh, using VBA code as well so let me let us okay here uh, okay fine because item ID and we did not select it quantity ID and here also quantity ID was not going through now the quantity will also okay secondly what we can do here 
do cmd dot non sql okay delete tbl purchase purchase where dot sign number equals to SR variable okay now we'll run the again okay we'll run this one let's see if it goes through you are about to append one record you are about to delete one record so just remember record number three we have updated okay i'll just press refresh or press f5 okay record is deleted so you can see this record is deleted so you can refresh the form again me dot refresh also you can put okay here me dot refresh automatically that record now you can see record number three okay the total record is here updated on 29th so this is how you can update the records if you have any questions leave your comments or you can send me a message i'll reply to that queries thanks for joining me today uh, shortly i'll be uploading few more videos also regarding different functions maximum minimum some calculations also have a nice day thanks bye